Hey buddies, I'm Arthur Eby. Molecules are held together by chemical bonds, and chemical reactions are oftentimes just as simple as breaking a few bonds and making a few bonds to other atoms. Breaking bonds takes energy, while making bonds gives off energy. Some bonds are stronger than others, so they take more energy to break, but they give off as much energy as they take when they make the bond. For example, a hydrogen molecule has two hydrogen atoms. It takes a small amount of energy to break the bond between them, just 1.73 times 10 to the negative 22 calories worth. If we allow those atoms to bond once again, that same amount of energy will be released. The reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water involves two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. To start the reaction, the bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen need to be broken. That takes a lot of energy, but using a catalyst will reduce the amount of energy it takes. That's because catalysts have a high affinity for some reactants. A catalyst such as platinum has a high affinity for hydrogen, so it breaks the bond spontaneously and the hydrogen sticks to the platinum. That means you don't have to supply the 1.73 times 10 to the negative 22 calories to break the hydrogen bond. It's already broken. That decreases the total amount of energy you need to start the reaction, the activation energy. Hydrogens attached to carbons in compounds such as diesel fuel or gasoline maintain their affinity for platinum and make partial bonds to it. This decreases the energy it would take to break all the carbon to hydrogen bonds, therefore lowering the activation energy. There's a platinum catalytic converter in cars, and that's what helps to reduce toxic emissions. The platinum is not used up in the reaction, so it's almost like free energy for life. However, constant bombardment of the platinum with fuels can cause small amounts of it to break off over time, so there may be a lot of platinum accumulated on the side of the road. Me and my friend, Cody Reeder, are going to go test it out by mining some street dust and seeing how much platinum we can get from it. It should be a pretty cool experiment, so come on and check it out with us. We'll see you over there, buddies. Until then, 